No wonder nobody talks to you nowadays. Not the dead rotting mouse. This is a printed photo. She didn't just say they're going to be immigrants. I cannot believe that I'm going to this length to defend Melissa. Hello guys and welcome back to Dance Mums and we are back. We're back in business. I'm back from Romania which is really really exciting. I genuinely had the most crazy chaotic amazing time went to transylvania went into bucharest went to an all-day spa experience and honestly i just had a fantastic time and i am super super excited to get into this dance mums episode i am considering potentially doing a little video explaining what happened on the holiday because so much stuff went on that i genuinely don't think we get to dance mums for another 10 minutes if i was to explain it all so what i'm planning on doing is if you guys are interested please let me know if you would like a romania little vloggy thing i didn't really do a vlog so it'll literally just be me sitting in front of a camera explaining everything that went wrong but either way i had a fantastic time and i'm ready to get back on with dance mums so as you can see the pyramid is behind me we are ready to jump straight in make sure to like comment subscribe open up your bingo cards as you know that is the new feature for the series and i'm very very excited for you guys and i hope you guys are enjoying the little bingo cards every time i notice something happening every now and then i'm gonna add it to the bingo card so we'll just keep on adding let me know if there's stuff that i should be adding down in the comment section but other than that let's get into the pyramid at the bottom of the pyramid currently on probation is abby lee miller she is currently not in my good books i do not currently like her next up we have melissa and also we have jill they're just both suck ups and it was disappointing that they caved first when abby was forcing them to choose between dance and kelly it was just disappointing i have to say next up we have brooke she wasn't really in the last episode because so i couldn't really put her any higher so she's kind of just existing there on the pyramid so big slay next up we have holly i don't know why holly is this far down i think it's because holly didn't really do much in the last episode she didn't really have any big storylines she kind of just had that moment at the beginning where her and christy were like Meh, we'll come back so i feel like we should hopefully be getting some more holly content soon and then she can start rising up again on this row we have nia we also have Paige. we also have if i can take it off mackenzie and that's the wrong one kendall and last but not least we have maddie now why are these guys here well these guys are here because they performed adequately in the dance group dance they weren't amazing so yeah and they kind of just existed so yeah fine I, I wasn't displeased with it i have to say on the next row we have kelly she put her feelings aside and joined back the aldc even though she's technically not part of the aldc she's just here to film the show but either way we did have a moment with kelly and christy obviously christy is our number two where they were just having a little bit of banter and talking about sophia's mum jessica jamelia i don't remember her name it's probably none of those names i actually can't remember it's been a while since i've watched the episode so apologies but christy is there because of the absolute shit that she went through with abby last week i felt like christy was being a little bit unfair towards the new mum but equally oh, uh, when the show and abby are setting your child up for failure of course you're going to be catty of course you're going to be pissed off and of course you're going to be upset watching it is making me feel how justified she is to be like that she is getting a little bit meaner but i think that's because she's adapting to the environment and the environment is becoming more toxic and more nasty towards her child so she's becoming more toxic and more nasty as a result so yeah that means on top of the pyramid is our queen chloe i thought she performed very well last week it wasn't an amazing dance by any stretch of the imagination but it was a good dance nonetheless and it did earn her the top spot on the pyramid i'm not including sophia i haven't read your comments from the last like four episodes of dance songs i can't i can't lie i haven't read them because i'm recording this before i'm actually getting around to watching them but i still stand by the fact that i didn't enjoy sophia's dance in the last episode i thought it was okay i just felt like it was pretty poor choreography wise and then like the only thing that was impressive was her doing her spins that's why i called her a one-trick pony so without much further ado let's get into the episode shall we we went to youngstown ohio 
to intensity dance. We won. Where is Sophia and her mum? Are they are they not here anymore? Have they left? Like what's going on here? Hello? Hello? Room service, what's going on? Let's move on to the pyramid. I have a Chloe. <sighs> Putting Chloe at the bottom of the pyramid is wild for a number of reasons. Firstly, she came third last week. None of the other people performed last week. She was the only one that did a solo and she came third. Putting her at the bottom of the pyramid, above people who didn't even compete last week, apart from in a group number. Abby, you're crazy. You're just showing your bias and your hatred. Do you know what I mean at this point? Like, it's actually ridiculous. Remembering your choreography. That is what you need to work on. Write it down. Maybe if you write it out, it'll sink in. As much as I disagree with why Abby's put her at the bottom, that is decent advice at the end of the day. If you're struggling to remember a bit, write it out. I think this is sound advice. It's just coming at the wrong time because I didn't think Chloe was that bad last week. Mackenzie, when I took you out of the group, I gave you this cute little part to do. And thank goodness it was humorous because had they started timing our number, we would have been disqualified. So because you made a cheap prop that didn't function properly and Mackenzie was unable to pull out the red carpet, that's her fault and that lands on the bottom of the pyramid. Sorry, I just wanted to check that you're blaming your mistakes on a child. Cool. Just wanted to get that that passed, okay? I will never forgive Mackenzie for what she did. <gasps> she made a mockery of the beginning of that routine. Why are you so dramatic? She made a mockery of me. I will never forgive her. Shut the fuck up. You're an awful human being. No one's going to forgive you for the way you've treated their children. No wonder nobody talks to you nowadays. You will not be in the group numbers going forward. Oh, <gasps> what? Just... Like, at all, period. You're not in it anymore because she couldn't work the fucking prop that they hadn't practiced with. That is absolute bullshit and you know it. You had the big jump, the tilt. Wow, you could have made that fabulous. But you didn't do that. That's because she had, who was it, Nia and Kendall lifting her? And Paige is a lot taller than both of them and doing lifts with children who, like, no offense, probably don't have a great deal of muscle is not exactly ideal. It's not the kind of thing that you want to do. Oh, it just, it does really frustrate me how Abby adds in ridiculous moments into her dances. And then when they look ridiculous, she's like, why do they look ridiculous? Because they are ridiculous. You can't have two girls lifting up a taller girl and expecting it to look good. Next, Maddie, you were good. I noticed you had the Sophia hairdo. I thought we had the Sophia energy. Maddie is no longer safe. Maddie is literally been tossed aside and Sophie is the new plaything now. That's it. Maddie, if your time's done, welcome to the land of unwanted toys. But now I know how the mo other moms feel when Abby does it to their children. Melissa, thank you for getting with the program. Thank you so much. It only took you two seasons and that's fine. That is fine. But I'm gonna need you to now start to understand that Abby is a fiend. She doesn't care about you. She's using you for her own benefit, okay? And she's only keeping you sweet so that you keep her sweet, you know? And at the top of the pyramid is Sophia. She won the entire competition. She was the high score of the day. Where is she, Abby? She's not even here for pyramid. So what's going on? Why have you given somebody who doesn't turn up the top of the pyramid? That's craziness. Just because she's in LA shooting a movie, that's just another feather in my cap. Oh, so she's 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 busy. She's booked and busy, and that's why she can't appear in this episode. Right, okay. So you didn't come to rehearsal Sunday? So what I'm hearing is, what I'm hearing is, she was at rehearsals on Friday, okay? Monday to Friday, fairs. Saturday, she saw her friends. Fair. She's a 14-year-old. She wants to hang out with her friends. Sunday, she had a school project that she was working on, and she worked on that all day, so she didn't come to rehearsals on Sunday. First of all, weekend, my time. My time. Not to your time. You get me during the week from 4 till 10, okay? Every single day. So don't act... Like, you owe me on a Sunday. Second of all, she was doing a school project. It's not like she was just, like, on holiday or she was just hanging around the local mall with her friends. No, absolutely not. She was doing a school project. Cut her some slack. Like, she spent the entire week learning the number with this group. Why wouldn't she just go away with us and compete the number? But that doesn't mean you don't do anything 
dance wise all weekend. She hasn't got an argument. She's literally chatting bollocks right now. And that is shown by the fact that she literally just stood there and went, but but that, but, but that doesn't that doesn't mean you don't do anything dance related all weekend. If I'm not going to a competition, of course I'm not fucking doing dance all weekend. I'm having a weekend off. If you're not taking me to the competition, screw you. That's your loss at the end of the day, not mine. Like, come on. We'll be immigrants. What? I must have misheard her because she didn't just say they're going to be immigrants. No, surely not. No, no. She didn't say that, right? No, no. She's not going to get a bunch of white people in Nia to be immigrants. Surely that would be, that would be totally inappropriate, right? Right? My next solo will be Paige. It's a trap, Paige. It's a trap. She's setting you up for failure. Don't fall for it, please. Don't fall for it. I am planning on Sophia showing up in the competition and participating in the group number. <laughs> it's not going to happen, is it? She's not going to rock up. I, I don't understand why Abby would create a dance hoping that someone will turn up to perform in it. It just doesn't seem right. Because that person's going to have no practice with the rest of the group and it is going to look dysfunctional and messy because you're going to have two people who have learned choreography at two different times and it's just not going to work. So th this is this is not going to work, Abby. I don't know what you're doing. This week's theme is very lightly about immigrating. It's more about getting across that border. It's about the struggle. I just don't know what would possess her to do a dance of a bunch of white people in Nia about crossing a border and immigration it just screams insensitive potentially racist and uncomfortable to watch but then again there's been so many times where i've been like this idea is horrific but it makes a fantastic dance oh Oh, I'm so conflicted. I don't know how to feel about this. Brooke is part Sunday. of the team. She needs to be at the dance competition right. with me. I agree, Kelly. I completely agree. I think it's absolutely ridiculous that we're icing Brooke out because, what, she didn't turn up to rehearsals for one day because she had a school project. Like, are we being serious right now? Are we actually, like, are we being deadly serious? Because this is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever heard in my whole life. Remember, you're an immigrant coming through the desert <laughs> or coming on a boat that you've been on for days and days and days oh oh this is so uncomfortable to watch because this is around the time when donald trump is like let's build a wall let's build a wall and oh jesus christ oh good god just oh i, just, I actually just can't deal with this right now this is too much do you think maddie said she doesn't have a solo um she's happy she has a duet is she happy? so yeah you okay with that oh yeah she's tickled pink tickled pink melissa me and you are gonna have to have some words because why do you keep using the phrase tickled pink it is not an okay term it, oh, it actually makes me feel ill listening to it and also you did not give me a convincing yeah Oh my god, Maddie's so excited. It was like, uh, uh, yeah, of course Maddie's excited to do it. <laughs> Why wouldn't she be? <laughs> I don't think Maddie's excited. To, well, I think Maddie's probably excited to dance with Kendall. I don't think you're excited for Maddie to dance with Kendall. I feel like you're of the opinion that Maddie is going to be dragged down by Kendall. And, oh god, this is an absolute nightmare. We're setting Kendall up to fail this week, aren't we? Oh god, I thought it might have been Paige, but maybe it is Kendall that we're setting up for failure. That's a great day to go visit Abby. It's Wait, never what? a good day to visit Abby. Why are they going to go visit Abby? And why are we going to Abby's house? This is an unknown location. We've not seen this before. I'm very excited to see what kind of decor she has, actually, because we're going to judge the fuck out of it. I'm not touching anything in here. God knows what's growing in that garage, and I do not feel like getting a case of scabies. That's hysterical. That's actually hysterical. The rubber gloves? Brilliant. I probably would have done the same. I can't lie. I would not be touching anything in that garage. Ugh. If there were things moving in that garage, I'm running out of there so fast. You would, I will literally have a dust outline. That's how fast I will have run out of that room. Kelly on probation for cursing in the studio, 1979. <laughs> Some things never change, huh? This is actually very, very funny to watch them just digging through her garage and finding all of like her earthly possessions. God. 
this this is the thing like i would love to clear out someone's garage and just look at all their old junk and rubbish and awful horrible things but like i said living things if there's uh, uh, if there's things living in that garage not a bit mate i am disappearing the instant i see something moving I think I touched it. <gasps> not the dead rotting mouse that's not okay guys that's not okay in the slightest I got the one of Abby's oh, mother with a black eye and oh. the same hairdo. I'm going to dream about this tonight and think what? that I did it to her. <laughs> Brilliant. Why would you take a photo of yourself with a black eye and then get it printed out? It's not like you just had it on your camera roll. This is a printed photo. Why has it been printed? I'm going to be a big glass of L -E -M -O -N -A -D -E. I, I don't I don't even know if she spelt that right because it was so like what is going on? Let me let me re-listen. The rhyme was not perfect. L O M N A N D E <laughs> Even I can't spell it that quickly. Jesus Christ L L L E M O N A D E Oh yeah, that's not fun. That's not fun. I would not have done that. Absolutely not. That does look funny. <laughs> I love it. She was like sitting on her boobs, her bosom. Just ew. Just ew is all I've got to say to that. It's just, just ew. No, she's in a good mood. You were her servant no, today. No, you, yeah, you, you hooked her up. You only stole two things. And... <laughs> 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 oh, this is what I mean by like, Jill's actually hysterical. And I actually do find her quite funny. Now that she's like best friends with these guys, I feel like it's, it's good vibes all around. I can't lie. I'm going to go downstairs for a little bit. Okay. okay. What are you doing? Melissa, care to comment? Care to answer? Care to explain where you're going? Hello? Three times I told you! Who's the woman filming? Who is this woman? Where did you find her? I've not seen her before. Is she like a production assistant or something? Because I thought they weren't allowed to be seen on camera. They've got to make it out like, oh, we're not actually a TV show. This is reality after all. I don't think you understand that you're like, there's people with machine guns in their cars that won't let you get out of the car. No, I don't think they understand that because funnily enough, I don't think they've ever had to make an immigrant passing. They've never had to make it to another country for fear of persecution from their own homeland. They've never had to enter a country knowing that they're not wanted there. So of course they're not going to be able to act. They're literally children who have no concept of immigration at all. They don't understand it. So telling them, I don't think you understand that there are people with machine guns waiting for you. Jesus. It's called sugar and spice. Understood? I don't know why you're all laughing and silly. That much time ago, you were doing a solo and had the top of the pyramid. Oh, heaven forbid she's excited to start dancing. Like, my God. Would you rather she just walked around with her face like a smacked backside the entire time? Like, oh my God. She actually is just awful. Because all Maddie was doing was just smiling a little bit. Like, yeah, I'm excited to get started. Woo. No, no smiles allowed in the Abby Lee Dance Company. No smiles at all. Only frowns. And now, you're her duet partner? I wouldn't be laughing about it. I don't understand why Abby is making out like Dancing with Kendall is a punishment for Maddie. Like, that's so cruel for her. For, especially for Kendall to hear like, oh, you're better than Dancing with Kendall. Sorry, what? That's so cruel and unnecessary. What'd you think about the duet? Not happy about that, but... Maddie was the one doing a solo every week and now she's doing a duet with Kendall? Wait, yeah. Now, I think, you know, it, it's different. Did Melissa just admit to me that she's not happy Maddie has to do that with Kendall? I don't think it was quite as bitchy as I'm upset that she has a duet with Kendall. I think it's more a case of I'm upset that she has a duet and when she's been having solos the entire time. Do you know what I mean? How do you think that makes Kendall feel? Kendall is dancing with Maddie and that's what she wanted. I mean, she's been that's... dancing with Maddie for a year now, not in a not, duet. Never but... in a duet, never even in one trio. But but this is this is my point is like it does just feel like you're completely dragging Kendall down and being like ah you're scum and now Maddie's dancing with scum like Maddie you should feel ashamed of yourself that you're dancing with scum like that's how it feels right now and I I just don't appreciate that from Abby I think this is actually a very very cruel and manipulative way of dealing with Maddie not being as good as Sophia I think it's horrible 
and poor Kendall's just like the, taking the brunt of it. Melissa was the one that stood in the store and told me she wasn't thrilled about her kid doing a duet with Kendall. I don't know where you want me to go with that. See, this is what I mean. This is completely unfair because Melissa actually didn't say that. She, I, I think what she meant was that she's not thrilled that Maddie's doing a duet when she has been doing solos the entire time. I'm barely certain that's what she was saying. And I think Abby's added the Kendall bit on to make Jill and Melissa go after each other rather than go at her. Do you know what I mean? You know, Sophia gets left behind, but Maddie crosses the border and she's like, Mom, about the four other four of us she's like she never even mentioned us that's so funny and that's so like abby to just forget about the other children and worry about her two stars do you know what i mean like and the other four just gonna be stood on stage like hello i'm still here melissa told us that story upstairs and melissa said oh i talked to abby and abby said how do you feel about the duet and she said oh i'm really happy about it oh she did oh okay there is a little bit of disparity there because she did say not thrilled. But again, I just feel like we're adding on the with Kendall part. I think it's just that she's not thrilled that she, Maddie's doing a duet. That I think that's literally it. I think that's the only issue that she has. Because every other time she's done a duet, she's also had a solo to do as well. If you think about it. I don't think there's been a time when she's done a duet or a trio and she hasn't had a solo as well. What do I do? I mean, I would definitely say something. I don't want to cause any drama with this duet, but I can't let Melissa get away with this. So I think you confront her and let us watch the outcome. I'm very excited for this because, again, it's just a misunderstanding, in my opinion. This is how I view the situation. I feel like Abby's just stirring, stirring drama up for no apparent reason. I have to tell you that Abby told me last night that you weren't happy about doing a duet what, with Kendall. What? Melissa, you've got to get better. You've got to get better at not a sounding bait. You've got to get better at it because that was the most bait. What? What? Was that clip of that guy where they were like giving out cocaine at the, the kebab shop or something like that? And he was like, what? What? Nah, I never knew that. I never knew that. That's the energy that Melissa's giving right now. Well, it's really funny. And really disappointing because Christy sat here and asked you how many times. I'm excited. And you told me how excited. I well, told I'm you. Very excited. This really does just feel like a miscommunication to the max. Because in the version that we saw, we did not see her say anything about I'm not thrilled to dance with Kendall. Hey, uh, what'd you think about the duet? So the question posed was, how do you feel about the duet? Let's listen to her response. Not happy about that, but... Not happy about that, okay? That's the response to, how do you feel about the duet? There is nothing in that that specifically says, I'm not happy about Kendall. He was the one doing a solo every week, and now she's doing a duet with Kendall. Wait, yeah. I think, you know... It... And right there, Abby brings up the fact that Maddie is too good to be doing a duet with Kendall and Melissa kind of just stumbles over her words because she's not sure what to say, okay? She's not sure what to say. There was no part of that conversation in which Melissa directly said, I am not happy with her doing a duet with Kendall. I cannot believe that I'm going to this length to defend Melissa, but this is Abby manipulating things once again. Or this is Abby hearing what she wants to hear. I think that's probably the most likely of the two. Abby is just hearing what she wants to hear and she's using this conversation to fit her narrative. They're trying to cross the border. It's not about where they're coming from and where they're going. It's about the voyage home. I'm confused because the way she just described it was they're immigrants, but they're trying to go home. Are they not immigrants or are they trying to go back to their home country, which they immigrated from? That's what I'm confused about. I don't understand what is going on here what's happened happening up in this here place no back talking your moms get in there and pretend your dancers yes i can't believe she just said and pretend your dancers are they not dancers like what are they doing then are they just like movement specialists is that what we're going to call them movement specialists i'm a confident mover i'm not a dancer i'm a confident mover abby is not going to want to be the one who is accused of lying I'm loving the fact that Jill is joining bitch number one and bitch number two and becoming bitch number three. That's iconic. This this little bitch corner here, I'm living for it. I'm loving the hush tones. I'm loving the fact that Kelly's literally getting up off of her seat and turning around. This is brilliant. All those people so excited to see you. Why do you think that is? National 
champion. Famous from a TV show. That's what that's code for. Okay, I am going to start getting a little bit tougher on Mackenzie because I feel like she's now eight years old and she's the same age that Maddie was when she started the show. So I feel like I'm, I can be a little bit more critical of Mackenzie because she's getting older. I feel like I'm going to give this a six because I think, first of all, the choreography isn't great from Abby. I still feel like she kind of puts her in a box of... I'll just do some flips and tricks. I'll just do this flip and trick. And I feel like I'd like to see Mackenzie do something a little bit different than constantly like high energy, like L-A-M-O-N-A-D-E or whatever it is. I can't spell apparently lemonade. That's my, my trouble. But I do feel like I just want to see something a little bit more because it just lacks finesse and it just lacks sort of that fluidity it feels like the the movements aren't completed sometimes she's rushing through them to get to the next one and it does just look a little bit messy so i'm gonna give it a six i feel like that's fair that's valid it is what it is there's not really much i can do about it i just have to kind of sit there and think well maddie was that age and she was very very good and i don't like to compare them because they are completely different people but at the end of the day, you got to do something. Do you know what I mean? you got to you got to think, well, I've been judging eight year olds on this show for a while now. And now that she is eight, I kind of have to treat her the same way as I treated those eight year olds at the time. You know what? I'm going to give that an 8 out of 10. Mm, do I want to give it an 8 or do I want to give it a 9? Because I was really impressed with it. Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with an 8 because I feel like she's she's done better. However, I'm noticing more of an elegance to her dancing, which is good. However, and this is a choreography concern. This is nothing on like page because she's doing the best she can. But the choreography is too quick for the styles of the, the, the for the types of moves that she's doing so it feels like she's not able to complete a move before she moves on to the next one so it feels a little bit rushed that's a pure choreography concern and that's just abby or gianna just teaching her to do too much i would have preferred her to do half of the moves and take double the time so that it was really clear what she was doing because the music had a very fast tempo and it was almost like every time there was a clap she was doing a different move and I was like that's cool but she's not able to keep up with it and it does make the moves look a little bit rushed however was I entertained absolutely did she impress me absolutely were there some really really cool moments absolutely and I thought it was a pretty good dance so all in all I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 well done Paige well done. Nice job. Paige, how do you think you did? Good. Good. I thought you were wonderful. I thought it was fabulous. I admit I watched that, forgot that the recording was on pause, and then had to rewatch it. My first reaction was, oh my god, Abby, Abby giving Paige a compliment? We didn't see her say that. So was that edited in? That it's not giving me hope that that was genuinely what she said to her in the moment. I have a feeling that was edited in and that she actually didn't say that to her at that time. Because, uh, let me listen again. She doesn't directly say Paige in the lines that are over the top of Paige. She says, um, good, I thought, I thought you were wonderful, I thought it was fabulous or something like that. I thought you did well, I thought it was fabulous. That is a very vague statement at the end of the day it doesn't sound like it was 
genuinely attributed to Paige's performance. So I feel like that is some producer manipulation there, I can't lie. We were discussing the duet and she said, I'm not too crazy about it either. That's that what was I her said. words. I'm not too crazy about not having a solo is what I said. That's what I was saying. Thank you. I'm glad we could clear that up. Like it was nothing to do with Kendall. Abby's just misphrased it, I think, or misheard it or misunderstood what was going on because that is not what she said. Come on, you know, Melissa, if she's with me, she agrees with my opinion. If she's sitting next to Jill, she's going to tell Jill whatever Jill wants to hear. Mm, yeah, Abby does have a little bit of a point with that. I can't lie. She is a little bit two-faced like that. But I think it's more that she's just a people pleaser. She would rather make you feel happy than make you feel sad by being honest. And then when that honestly comes back to bite her in the ass when she's with other people. Yeah, it does get a little bit tacky and a little bit tricky. But... I do, I do feel bad for Melissa in this instance because I do genuinely believe that this was a whole lot of nothing and it spiraled out of control and now Abby's just ripping into her and I'm like, this is so horrible to watch. Maddie's knee watch was it. bent. It's perch. It's supposed to be bent. But her second, her leg wasn't straight. Okay. But you're too busy watching Maddie, this. You don't Maddie, see any of that. Maddie, you can take a private from Miss Jill next week. Nah, Jill's got a point to be fair. Jill's got such a point that she'll never correct Maddie in public but she's always just focusing on kendall and what kendall's doing wrong i'm sorry but if jill's like hang on a minute a high leg was bent in the same way that you said that kendall's leg was bent and now it's oh you can take a you can take a class with miss jill next week she's not perfect do it one more time honey i will you know what she tell her to stop you've worked really hard and all she does is say you're one foot come on kendall come on i have to say Kendall does piss me off of how disrespectful she is towards Jill because Jill is actually trying to advocate for her trying to stop Abby from literally ripping into her for no reason and Kendall's like no stop it Why did you have to do this? because I'm not gonna let that big you know what sit there and belittle you let me check what I can and can't say around the children you know what <laughs> she definitely calls Abby all kinds of names at home and she's like I don't want to call her that on camera yeah like I said I feel like Ke Kendall is not seeing that her mum is genuinely trying to stand up for her and that is what I'm finding frustrating about Kendall at the moment is it is it seems like she's just so sort of like she's just happy to take it do you know what I mean and that's such a shame Guys, you can never make me hate Maddie. Maddie's so cute and so sweet and she's so lovely. Oh, that moment healed my heart right there. That moment healed all of the hurt inside of my heart from this show. Honestly, 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 fuck it, I'm giving it a 10. I'm giving it a 10. I thought that was exceptional. And not only, not only, and you guys may disagree with me here, but not only did Kendall keep up with Maddie, but I thought she was as good as Maddie, if I'm being 100% honest. Like, I felt like potentially during the turns, her arm placement wasn't 100% perfect. But for the most part, I was watching the performance and I was like, wow, this is a very, very solid, well thought out and well performed dance, in my opinion. Amazing, spectacular, big claps, well done, no notes, let's move on, we're done here. It's okay, Abby, you can give corrections. Oh, you're allowing me to correct my students now? You can do whatever you want, I just don't want you screaming, hurting feelings before they go out on stage. Fair and valid, Jill. Fair and valid, because when you scream and shout at them before they go out on stage, that's the last thing in their memory before they go out there and then they panic and then they freak out. We've seen it happen time and time again. So actually, Jill, I'm 100% on your side, I can't lie. Go to the optometrist to the ophthalmologist, because it was not. Those were big words for you, Abby. Are you okay? Has someone bought you a thesaurus word a day for Christmas? Because ophthalmologists and ophthalmologists, like, what was going on there? If Kendall just gets an opportunity, she will dance up to that level. I gave it. I didn't see it. 
and you picked on her the entire week about it. Uh, do you know what? This is so toxic from Abby because what do you mean she didn't dance well? She danced spectacularly and like I said, I didn't really notice a difference in quality between her and Maddie. Which says a lot, I feel like. Maybe I wasn't watching closely enough. Maybe I was paying too much attention to uh, Kendall and not to Maddie. Because I knew Maddie would be able to do it. But I was worried about Kendall, potentially. But either way, I thought the group was... Uh, like, the duet was amazing. They did really, really well. But for some reason, Abby's just got to drag everybody down. First place, Lemonade, Abby. Yay! Yeah, fair and valid. First place, sure. We'll take a third place for Paige. I am very, very happy with that. Good job, Paige. Very, very well done. Good job. Just keep dancing and you'll get there. Don't worry. You'll get first again. Number 217, Yay! Yes, I'm so happy. I'm so, so glad that they ended up winning because fuck you, Abby, for saying that they were shit or for saying that Kendall was shit. Yeah, screw you. What do you know? Maybe you need to sort your life out, bestie. Compare her devil pay point blank to Chloe's. Yes, and her dance teacher from San Diego taught it where you taught Chloe. So her. No, I taught Chloe to do it correctly. Chloe pikes it forward and she gets told about it every time she does it. This has got a point. Abby did not teach Sophia. So saying, oh, compare XYZ, can't really do that, can you? Personally, I thought it was shit. I, do, do you know what I really, my third, the first number that popped into my head with this? Three. I thought it was dreadful. I thought it was awful. I thought, once again, I was not getting the vibes of immigration. It was giving Eastern European grannies worried about where their next meal is going to come from. That was what it was giving. It was not giving Voyage Home or whatever that bullshit was. I just think it was not great in terms of the dancing. There was no cohesion with them all being in sync. Whoever was in the middle, I think it was Kendall, was out of time significantly. But then again, if that's not the part she learned and she's been pushed into that part, because that was obviously Sophia's big bit, whatever i i can't critique her too much i just felt the dance was messy there was no cohesion the story wasn't there i just didn't think it was their best dance i thought it was actually incredibly poor personally she wants to think that everybody's amazing i don't wake up amazing it takes me hours to get this way fucking hell you must be there for 25 hours then because you still don't look that great my lovely first place trophy goes to voyage home from the abby lee dance company how? How did they win that? Like, actually tell me how they won that. Because there's no way they should have won that. That was a rubbish dance. That was horrendous. God, is this... Is, is, was this rigged? Really? You really think that? Just because they got lucky and won? Kendall, are you going to admit that you screwed the whole dance up and that you were off timing? I messed up one part, not the whole dance. I, I, I Listen, Kendall, I agree. You might have messed up one part, but I don't think you messed up the whole dance. Like... Unless you were shit from start to finish, you didn't mess up the whole dance. She She's claiming that one wrong move messes up the whole dance. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. I, I, I'm sorry. If your dance is that poor, that one wrong move makes the judges go, oh, shit. Then clearly it wasn't a good dance to begin with. Because was there no redeeming qualities to it? Wow, wow, wow. That was... That was something that was, I have to say. That was interesting. A lot more respect for Jill. I feel like I have a lot more respect for her because of the way she handled Abby in this episode. So she might be making a, a well-awaited rise to the to the middle top of the pyramid. You never know. I don't know what I'm going to do with the pyramid next time. But 
either way thank you guys for watching hope you guys have enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe do all that youtube stuff that you guys are doing so well and if you want to see the romania little speech that i have i so much happened on it and it is actually quite funny uh then let me know and i'll make a video on that soon but anyway thank you guys for watching hope you guys have enjoyed make sure to like comment and subscribe do all that youtube stuff that you guys do so well and i'll see you guys later keep on ranting bye now